Hello you guys, welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about a huge issue that you PC gamers are going to have if you try to play Dark Souls on the PC. Now, whether you got it on Steam or if you have it on disc, you know, you will have issues with it. Dark Souls was made for the consoles, not for the PC, which means that it is pretty much unplayable if you try to use your mouse and keyboard. So, I'm not going to talk about how to do that in this episode, but I have another video, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description, where I show you guys how to hook up a PlayStation or an Xbox controller to your PC. Okay, so go ahead and check that out if you don't know how to do that. In this episode, however, I'm going to be talking about the fact that you cannot save your game in Dark Souls unless you have game, uh, Games for Windows Live hooked up to your computer. So, I'm going to show you guys how to fix this, and don't make this overcomplicated. It is very easy to do. And I swear, I was spending three hours on the internet trying to figure out how to fix this. And there were some forums where people just overcomplicated it. And it doesn't have to be difficult. It is very easy to fix. Okay. Now, as you may notice, I'm on Windows 8. I'm not on Windows 7. That doesn't matter. So don't freak out. Okay. If you have Windows 7, it's fine. You can use the same method as I use to fix this. So first thing you're going to do is, well, you need to uninstall games from Windows Live. Okay, you cannot do anything before you've done that. So go ahead and open up, you know, programs and features inside the control panel and search for uh, Microsoft Games. And you should have these two uh, programs here. One of them is called Microsoft Games for Windows Live Redistributable, and the other one is called Microsoft Games for Windows Marketplace. You need to uninstall both of them to make this work. Okay, uninstall both of them and then restart your computer and get back to this tutorial and I'll show you guys what to do from here on. So after you've done that, and I expect you guys to be back now, after you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and open up your browser. Well, you're probably already in the browser if you're watching this tutorial. So go ahead and go to this link that I have provided in the description. It is a link to the Xbox, you know, .com website where you can in fact download a Games Windows Live Marketplace installation just like you had before. Download that, and then we will go through how to install this the correct way. Now, when you get it, after you uh, download it, you should have this little file here, the setup for it. Do not start installing it. Instead, you need to right click on it, open up the properties. Inside here, go to compatibility, and then down here, you're gonna want to go down to run this program in compatibility mode for, and then choose whatever program you have or what kind of system you're running your computer on. If you have Windows 7, you choose Windows 7. If you have Windows 8, you choose Windows 8. Now I'm on Windows 8, so I'm going to keep it like that. Make sure you check off the little box that says run this program in compatibility mode for blah, blah. Now, after you've done that in the bottom here, it says run this program as an administrator. Check that one off too. say OK or apply and then OK. OK, and then go ahead and install Games from Windows Live here. Just double click it or right click and say run as administrator. After you've done that, you should get this window that looks similar to this. We can log into Games from Windows Marketplace. Now, it should not give you an error. If you did not, you know, choose Windows uh, 8, if you had Windows 8 or something like that inside where we just did it, it will give you an error. But if you did it correctly, it should not. So it opens this up and you can log in and everything. If you do not have an account, go ahead and create an account because you're going to need it. And that's basically all you need to do here. Now, if you go ahead and open up your game, your Dark Souls game, instead of saying that, oh, you're not locked into games on Windows Live or whatever, you cannot, you know, you're going to have to play this game in offline mode and you cannot save your game. It's not going to say that anymore. It's going to pop up with this little uh, dashboard from the top from games on Windows Live. We can lock in. And after you log in, you can, in fact, save your game inside Wind, uh, Dark Souls. Okay? It's very simple. That's all you need to do. It will now work for you. Okay? I hope this was really useful for you guys. I swear, I spent a long time figuring this out. There's, like, no tutorials anywhere on how to do this stuff. Okay? I hope this was useful. Go ahead and leave a like if it was. Subscribe to see more stuff from me. Yeah? It helps a lot. And I hope to see you guys later. Bye.